Yeah, I mean, they're just a, they're a good machine. When you have a good machine, you stick to it. Right. So we got a lot of Campro machines, you know that. Yeah, how many Campros do you have? Well, let me see here. Verticals, I think we have probably about 30. 30 okay. verticals. Okay. And we got uh, several machines coming in. Uh -huh. They're on the water now. You mostly, you just have boxway Campros? We got a little bit of both, but they're all good machines. It's just that the longevity of the oldest ones we had is just indestructible. They're bulletproof. I mean, virtually no maintenance. You know, just just the common maintenance to keep it up. But, but How old is the oldest one? About 15 years old, but we okay. just started updating them. Okay. And uh, we didn't update them because they were getting bad on us. We just updated because it was the thing to do to stay with the uh, stay with our customers. Right. But, uh, yeah. We do a lot of heavy heavy hogging on a lot of uh, heavy material. Okay. We don't do a lot of aluminum. We, we do mostly just a. 836, 1018 seal. Yeah, just a lot of heavy hogging. Okay. Yeah, this is a big, uh, a big Campro machine right there. We got. Okay, uh, so I think we have five of these. Five How many do we have? I think we got. One, two. We got four with the fifth one on the way. The okay. fifth one should be here within the within the month. Okay. And this is a double column bridge mill PV3216. So got about 120, 25 inches of axe. What we did is uh, I talked my son into buying the first one, me and my uh, uh, Dave Henderson, he's my machine guy, my boss in that area. And we had a, uh, we had a good plan put in place what, what uh, part number we were gonna put on it. And we actually it, it became so good at it that it's not, it wasn't diverse anymore. It just ran that one part number, right. but it ran it it ran it very quality conscientious and a very uh, very productive and in a quality manner. I mean, it just because you didn't have to move the part anymore. It was a long part right. that prior to that we had to keep moving it in the vise, moving it in the right. vise. This way, you, you, you lock it in. Right. Okay. So it. these are some of the parts you're doing right here. Yes, there's some parts we do on. Okay. That's. That's a family of part numbers that's, that's done on this machine. Okay, and you have a big fourth axis on this. Yes. Now, do yep. all of your, your bridge mills have a fourth axis? No, okay. don't. How much, uh, how long is that fourth? That fourth you know? axis is probably six feet. That's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a serious fourth axis. Nice. Have you uh, had any issues with these machines? Well, no, not, not really. I mean, just, I mean, there's probably something, well, right? Most of the time, the machines that's, that's, in, uh, that's made today, it's usually an operator error. Right. To be honest with you. If you right. load it wrong, you, right. you put the wrong uh, offset in, that's sure. when you get into trouble and you, you crash, crash it. it. But as far as, if you don't crash a machine, especially a cam pro, you don't have any problem with it. Right. I mean, they're they're bulletproof. They're they're heavy machines. I think this machine weighs around, God, I think fifty thousand pounds. Wow. If I'm not mistaken. Wow. But they're heavy, heavy machines. Yeah. And even the Cat 50 verticals, they're they're a heavy machine. Uh... So this is a 1600. So it's a 63 inch machine. Uh, Cat 50 big plus. You do some heavy hogging on this one. Yeah. Yeah, we do. How long have you had this 1600? Looks like a little that's, bit older. Probably two, three years old. Maybe, oh, okay. maybe three years old. Three years? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've actually got uh, three of these machines, four of these machines go, going into a, a good friend of mine. And uh, they just come up and seen my machines and, and, and they wanted them. And they've yeah. had them for years. He, he likes the machines. Yeah. That's square deal, right? Yeah, square yeah. deal. Yeah, he's a very good friend of ours, and we work together a lot of times. Here's one we put a little pallet pool on. I guess we ain't using it right now. You got right. the coat hanging on it. Okay, so it's a Mitoco, and it's a uh, two pallet pool, so it, you can be loading one up while the other one runs, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So these are Campro 1050Bs here. Yeah. How many of these do you have? Oh God, I don't. I think we got 20 of these. 20. Yeah. Wow. And, and I keep buying them because they're, they're like I say, they're bulletproof. 
Like boxway vertical, 20 by yeah. 40. So is this a part you're doing in, in the 1050? Yeah. yeah. All right, so then you got your lathes over here. These are all, these are newer lathes. I think there's three of, three of these and fourth and, well, three, four, five and five of these, six, six ones on its way. Okay, 20 by 10 SM, so you got a subspindle and a live turret. And then you have SYs as yeah, well, right? Yeah, I think this is, yeah, I got, I got SY, I think this is 25 ton too. That, that one's going out, okay? Okay. This can be replaced by yep. an SY208 coming in yeah. any day now. 3010SY, okay, so this machine is nice and tall because you got the Y axis in it and you got a sub. So these are the, some of the parts you're doing in it? Yeah, yep. Okay, so you're picking this off and facing off the back? Yep. With the sub? Over here we got a 3510. A lot of heavy, we do a lot of heavy stuff with this one. Okay. And pretty much. As you can see. Yeah. How many lathes do you have? 14. Let's see. Yeah, like yeah. I say, I mean, the other, other machines were, I can't uh, say they were bad to us, but we just, we found a good mix with these Campro machines and we like them. Yeah, we like them. Bob Morrison, which he's, he has the Campro USA. We bought from Bob, and he, he had a, a multitude of different machines at any given time, but the, the camp rolls are good. They're, they're the best. They're the best I've had, put yeah. it that way. Because I, I truly believe in them. Yeah. I believe in the ownership. I believe in the machines, their capability, their quality. I, 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 I can't think of anything I would uh, talk bad about them. No, the camp rolls have treated us good. Good. I can't say a thing bad about them. Nice. You can, there's another uh, foreman in the area. You can, you can talk to him about the camp rows and ask him what he thinks about it. What do you do here and what's your experience with the camp rows? Um, uh, CNC lead guy, okay. uh, mill guy. Um, I help everybody throughout the day operate their machines, uh, make sure they have the work and their, you know, any issues they have with the machines. Um, we've had good experiences with them so far. Um, a lot of them are the newer ones. We got different varieties of, uh, varieties of them, as you've seen, yeah. and little kind of little bit of everything that we're been doing well. Uh, Do you have any significant issues with them? Um, no, I wouldn't say just just your day to day small little issues that. Like what would that be? A coolant leak or a shutout? Yeah. Valve yep. Or, okay. Which a lot of it's just the way we operate them and probably not clean them out very well like we should and stuff sure. like that. So it's just chip build up in the conveyors a lot of times. Right. And that's really about it. Like, uh, so. I appreciate your time. What's your name? Cody. Cody. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Appreciate it. Well, that's the first one I got. Okay. How long have you had this one? Probably about three, three years probably. Okay. Now is this this is starting out as a solid. That's a solid billet, 1018. And you're hogging all of that out? Yeah, we're hogging all that out. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Yeah, nice to have the 50 Taper Big Plus for that. Yes, it is. Yeah. How often do you have to haul a dumpster of chips out of this place? Every, every other day. Really? Yeah. OK, down here's your horizontal, right? That's a big horizontal. We, we, we got a, a couple of different family codes of work on this machine. Probably, we probably do about 20 different part numbers on this machine. And they, and they all got their own uh, tombstone. So I'm assuming you do uh, lights out machining with this, load up the tombstones and we, we do. hit go and close the doors. There we go. Well, Sounds that's good. In a nutshell, huh? Oh, I uh, appreciate you showing me around and taking the time. Yeah, I mean, they're just a, they're a good machine. And when you have a good machine, you stick to it. Right. So you kind of weed it out. You know, if you have a garden full of weeds, and you got one good corn stalk that's uh, giving you sweet corn, you get rid of the weeds. Right. Right. So right. we got rid of the weeds, and uh, I don't know if that's the right thing to say. But. Right. That's true. That's the right thing yeah. to say.